Hi, Miriam with you today and today I am sharing my latest project for Lisa Horton Crafts and today I've decorated a mini bookcase and books in a way that's a bit different from how it was designed really. So before I show you my actual project I'll just show you how it was supposed to look. So this is the bookcase, you may have seen it in one of my previous videos, if not there is a video available for this. And it's a mini bookcase to house four books, two 15mm uh, spined books and two 40mm spined books. So you can see this is the bookcase um, which I've just decorated, I've put little feet on, uh, there's a little um, bit at the bottom to hold the feet and then the books go in there so that's how the original design was and the actual mini bookcase kit you get the MDF to create this bookcase which is very very simple to assemble and then you get enough grey board to create four books two 50 millimeters and two 40 millimeters and that's the book uh, covers and spine so that's how it should look and then as you will have seen that's how this one looks so I gave it a complete different uh, different theme I guess for this one and I wanted to create something that was a bit more of a treasure and for this I actually used the Stamperia time papers and you can see uh, and I've, I've shown a video using these previously but these are absolutely gorgeous the papers are so detailed and ornate and they're quite um, grungy but at the same time they have a soft vintage feel to them too and this is time is an illusion from Stamperia and that's what I've designed my treasure box around Actually, yes, I think I like the name treasure box. That's what I'm going to call it. So you can see I've used the feet on here, um, which I've did at the bottom. And I've actually created a just a little um, cover for this. So I'll show you the top first. The top is created using a sheet of the Stamperia paper. And I'll show you there's some cardstock underneath. I've used some of the wonderful sisal. Um, you can see I've not got much left of my own, so I'm going to be ordering again soon once it's back in stock. Um, but I've just taken, you only need a very small amount of sisal, and it really does add a different texture to your project. And that's available at thatcraftplace.co.uk. Uh, I've just found a little resin frame in my stash, and I've put some of the Stamperia paper behind it. And I've just adhered that to it. Um, there's one of the wordage words. And I've shown these to you many a time. So these wordage sheets are absolutely wonderful. You get 12 sheets of two designs in three different colours. So white, craft and black. And I swap between the black and the white quite often. Um, I, I think black probably... Uh, is my favourite but what I adore with the white is that you can colour them and even though it might look as if there's a bit of a sheen to them because they're uncoated they take the ink incredibly well I've also used translucent paints over these uh, you can also water down slightly some non-translucent paints and that will work beautifully beautifully as well in the kit I've not counted them but I think there are about 500 sentiments in total um, duplicated of course in the colours but absolutely wonderful I like nothing more than just being able to uh, get my paper trimmer and slice these apart a little bit and then use what I want so no having to stamp make sure I stamp straight um, cut them straight etc etc these are absolutely wonderful there's no surprise whatsoever that they keep selling out every time Lisa brings them on TV but these are also available at thatcraftplace.co.uk when they are actually in stock so that's those um, I've also used some of the wonderful Lisa Horton Crafts pearls and these are absolutely stunning um, I really can't tell you just how beautifully um, they shine and they've got such a lovely glimmer to them absolutely wonderful and then these flowers uh, these are actually from the um, daisy burst dies so i've used these and all i've done is i've die cut several of them in the different sizes i've put a little brad through them just to keep them together and then i've drenched them in water and scrunched them up and then um, when they've dried completely a couple of them i've 
pulled apart slightly and then some of them I've just left as they are and then I've just added a tiny bit of um, browning on the top before I've glued them down but yeah I absolutely love doing my little flowers this way I mean they are so you know you can use these dies as they are and you obviously get the coordinating stamps with them um, or available to buy I should say but so, so you can use them exactly as they are like that but I love using them to create my own little individual flowers there and then you can see also in the background is this daisy burst border as well and I've got a couple um, left over and I've literally just used these I've cut them down a little bit inked around the edges and I've just added those to uh, to the top of my treasure box so that's the top uh, as you can see there's plenty going on there um, I've also attached a little clasp uh, to this to keep my treasure safe um, and as I said I've just used those absolutely glorious time is an illusion stamperia papers which I totally totally adore so let's see what's inside the box uh, you can see here I've just used some black cardstock um, to give a bit more weight to my box there. And then I've still created some books to go with these. And I'm going to show you each of the books individually because they're all different in some ways. And that's what I'm going to do next. So let's look at the first one. So here, again, I everything each of my books I've used the wonderful time is an illusion papers um, I've used the worded sheets and I've used various little bits some of which I've got in my stash um, anyway most of which are from Lisa Horton crafts so I've created my signatures and then I've just decorated them there's a bit more size or you can see the worded sheets um, I've created little pockets so that you can put little trinkets in there. Again, I've used some of the flowers. You can see the little brads I've used. And, and a lot of these um, pages were just off cuts that I'd left over from creating the bookcase pages and also another project, which again, I've done a YouTube video for using these papers. Um, I've used some pearls. Again, there's another little pocket there. Some I've just left blank and I've put a little wordage sentiment um, there's those wonderful little daisy burst flowers it really does make a difference I think rather than just stamping them and, and leaving them flat as beautiful as they are being able to use them in a different way or if you don't have the stamps being able to use them and give them some character is just a wonderful way to use those stamps there you go so that's book one and then book two so again I've just cut away at some of the tags in this kit um, I've used some of those lovely Lisa Horton Crafts pearls some more sizal and worded sheets I love that one um, I wasn't sure how I was going to use the face but I really wanted to use the face and as it was I was able to cut it just perfectly and I thought the BU sentiment was really good to go with that okay. on to book three again you can see um, I've just used some of the tags which I've cut I've used some of my flowers and the worded sheets but I've teamed this just with a bit of vintage lace and some more pearls again I've got my little pockets to add little trinkets um, little pocket there as well and the great thing about this I've used elastic so I can add to my signature should I wish as well these papers are just perfect they're vintagey they're a bit grungy um, they're everything I love about crafting and just cutting into them the quality of them is superb and I know they're going to fly out or have flown out if you're watching this after Lisa's show uh, on the 7th of May and then my final book there you go there's a gorgeous sort of lock and a date remember which I thought was quite apt 
um, memories again tinned with just a bit of vintage lace another one of those little flowers daisies I've created and there we have it there are my books one thing I did think I could do with this but I wanted to use all the books in my project was that I thought I could have left uh, one or two of the books out and I could have um, put a little bag of chocolate in there or a little gift if I was giving this as a gift to, to somebody um, don't have to be somebody quite special that's for sure because it's such a beautiful box um, the other thing I thought I could do which I didn't actually get around to doing was uh, the same as I did with altering this box I thought I could have altered one of the little books and sealed it up so that um, you could put chocolates inside and you can see this the 50 millimeter spine would have been perfect for that actually um, it would have been just enough to add a few little um, lind chocolates or whatever your your favorite little wrapped chocolates or sweeties are uh, could have also have housed a gift and you can imagine that can you imagine this as a little box and you open it up with these beautiful uh, papers on top and then you just reveal um, some chocolates that'll be a really true beautiful thoughtful gift for somebody so there's still lots of ideas and I've got so many ideas running through my head for these um, it, it's unreal I, I've absolutely loved working with them um, and as you can see so there's my little trinket box my, my treasure trove um, looking quite uh, quite ornate and glorious and and really quite fun to make so I really hope that you've enjoyed my show and tell for how to use the mini bookcase and books from Lisa Horton Crafts uh, and seen all the wonderful products that Lisa has brought to you or is bringing to you over the next couple of months I really urge you to buy them if you pop along to that craftplace.co.uk you'll be able to see everything there and once they've been on Create and Craft after two weeks uh, they'll be available in the shop while they're available and yes again I'm using my uh, Lisa Horton Crafts mat which is my absolute go-to favorite uh, because as I've said many a time if I've got ink or paint on this because it's white and it's proper white it's bright white I can see exactly what color or tone I've used as well as the fact this does not move so when I'm creating when I'm crafting I know that everything I'm doing is quite stable and it's not going to slip and slide um, but also it's it's a beautiful mat and it washes beautifully um, I know Lisa has mentioned that she's cut a couple of these up and she's used them for under pet trays etc what pet bowls uh, but absolutely wonderful so there's my Lisa Horton Crafts mat as well so thank you for joining me I really hope you've enjoyed having a look at how I've um, changed the uh, mini bookcase and I'll bring that one in again so that's how it should look uh, with the little books inside into something really quite different and what would be a, a really beautiful present for somebody special in your life so please subscribe to my page if you've enjoyed this otherwise look out for more videos from me and have a great day thank you